Imagine you're hosting a dinner party. Guests arrive, some alone, some with friends, one with their entire family. You don't rebuild your house for each group. Instead, you adapt by pulling out more chairs and adjusting the table. That's like responsive design. But what if you needed to change the room entirely to suit different needs? That's adaptive design. In this video, we'll explore five effective ways to apply these concepts in Flutter, helping you create apps that look great on any device. Now that we have a clear understanding of the concepts, let's dive into Flutter and explore how to implement responsive and adaptive designs effectively. First up, Media Query. Media Query is a powerful tool in Flutter that allows us to gather information about the size and orientation of the current app screen. It's essential for creating responsive layouts as it provides the context for making UI adjustments based on the device's characteristics. The way you use this is by accessing the build context. With that, you will have access to the media query and all its related functionality. Next, we have the layout builder. This widget is important when you need to build responsive UIs. Layout builder gives you the constraints of its parent widget, which means you can adjust your layout dynamically based on the available space. The difference to Media Query is that Layout Builder takes the dimensions from its parent and not the entire screen. So this is better suited if you want components to behave more responsive, depending on the context or space it's being used in. To use it, you would just wrap your specific widget with a Layout Builder. From that, you will get the constraints to then decide in the child what to do with those constraints. Moving on to flexible and wrap widgets. These are for managing space within a layout. Flexible allows a widget to fill the available space within a row or column, while wrap helps you manage overflow by arranging children widgets into multiple lines or columns. Both of these are easy to use, so if you have a row, you can wrap a child in flexible and the child of the flexible will grow. Or if you have a row, you can replace it with a wrap and the layout will change. Breakpoints and Conditional layouts are another important aspect. In Flutter, breakpoints define screen size ranges where the layout should change. By using conditional layouts, you can specify different UI structures or styles depending on the screen size. For example, you might take the media query size and depending on some defined breakpoints, you would create different layouts such as for small, medium, or large screens. Finally, we have platform-aware adaptive UI. Flutter allows you to create platform-specific adaptations. By detecting the platform at runtime, you can adjust the styling and functionality to match the expectations of each platform's users. For example, you might want to have buttons that better match the OS you are running on. If that is the case, you can wrap with conditionals, and depending on the OS, you can use buttons such as Cupertino or Material, or even fully custom buttons. Now, adaptive and responsive apps is not everything. Solid architecture and structure is also important. See this next video to learn about it.